Smack of God, my friends. It's Black Sabbath Sunday. And this is a, this is a donated one from Christopher Mercer. He wants me to put Headless Cross from Black Sabbath versus Black and Blue. Uh, black and Blue. Well, yeah, it is Black and Blue. Blue Murder. Black and Blue. Now, I think about it. I got to put some Black Sabbath against some Blue Oyster Cult albums, as I have pretty much all. No, I do have every single Blue Oyster Cult album, so I will compare which ones have the same amount of tracks and put them against each other, but this time, we're going to do with these. Which one do I like more? Man, I love both these albums. As you can see, this is a promo copy, man. Not that I care, but a lot of people do care, so I did that for the people that do care. Hey, look, it's a promo copy. Um... Which one do I like more? I'm going to have to go... Hey, I love this album, but... <laughs> I'm going with this one, but I'm sure this will get some points because this is a phenomenal album with one of my favorite guitar players, Mr. John Sykes. Now let's look at the track listing here. Yes, they are in order. Now, uh, Christopher said, uh, you know, there's nine tracks each, which actually this has eight tracks. This has nine, but I'm going to add the bonus track called Cloak and Dagger that's not on here, but it was... A bonus track from I guess Japan or something so let's do this all right so we start off with Gates of Hell uh, the Gates of Hell versus uh, Riot I know it's a little cheating because that Gates of Hell is just a little sound effect -y thing that it's an intro so and I love Riot so I'm gonna give it to Blue Murder all right Blue Murder got one all right then we got the title track Headless Cross versus Sex Child, both great, but I'm giving that one a Sabbath. And by the way, this, if you were to put a poll, what is the best Black Sabbath album with Tony Martin, this would win hands down. Now me, it used to be uh, Eternal Idols. That was my favorite. And this was always my third favorite because I liked Eternal Idols and Tear, then this one. But now, I like Tear more then Eternal Idols, and then this one. This is my third favorite, but I love it, as you will see as I go on. All right, so, uh, so far, one against one. One got each, right? Then we got um, Devil and Daughter versus, oh, Valley of the Kings. Ooh, that's a tough one. Whew. They're both awesome. You know what, man? I'm giving that one a Sabbath because... I mean, John Sykes got an awesome voice, but the yelling that Tony does on Del and Daughter is just, man. Those that know Spanish, me eriza, me eriza el brazo. <laughs> Sabbath. All right. Two against one. All right, then we got... Um, when Death Calls, the only Black Sabbath song to feature another guitar player. What guitar player is it? Yeah, you got it. That guy got it. Brian May. But that other dude, you didn't know. Um, what's that going against? Jelly Roll. I love Jelly Roll. It's cool, but Sabbath. Right on. Alright, so that brings the end of side one. Now I'm going to pick a random album. Let's go over here for a change. I'm picking a random album to talk about a little bit, and then we'll go into side two. All right, so I'm going to pick this one. What is this? Oh, the first Ramones album, man. Come on. Blitzkrieg, Bob, Beat on the Brad, Judy's a Punk. Every song on this damn thing, man. Oh, my God. Chainsaw, whew, 53rd and 3rd, Havana Fair. What a classic game changer album. The Ramones. Love them. First album. Immaculate. You never hear you never hear somebody say Ramon's Immaculate, but I just did. Ha. How do you like those apples? Alright, now we go into side two. And we got Kill in the Spirit World. Really cool, heavy, but trippy tune. Versus Blue Murder. The song Blue Murder. Oof. I'm gonna give that one a Blue Murder. Right on. All right. Then we got Call the Wild. If you've seen my review of Call the Wild, I still haven't changed my opinion. I actually listened to the CD today. And I listened to this today. 
give it a fair assessment. assessment. Never like Call of the Wild. I know many of you do. I know there, I've gotten so many comments on my Head of this Cross review of, what the fuck you talking about, man? That song rules. Uh, against Out of Love. Out of Love, I like it. It's, uh, you know, kind of ballad. And again, what I was saying about Devil and Daughter of Tony Martin, man, John Sykes' voice, Out of Love, amazing. Meriso y Brazo. All right, so. I'm giving that one to uh, Blue Murder. Ooh, it's a tie. By the way, man, so Brasso, you know, uh, goosebumps. All right. Um, Black Moon. I love that song. That was actually a B-side on Eternal Idols, but they re-recorded it for this album, and it's a badass song. And that one's going against Billy. I love Billy. I believe Billy is a song John wrote about Phil Lynott, I think. Love the song, but I'm giving that one to Sabbath. All right, now Sabbath is the lead. Four to three. This is going back and forth, man. This is a good one. A very good one. All right. Good going, Christopher. All right, then the last track officially on here is Nightwing, which, my God, Tony Martin's voice on that song, whoa. Against, oh, I don't know how to pronounce this, Petolemi, Petolemi, whatever. Epic. Killer, awesome song. One second. Yo. Damn, you're already here. All right, give me a second. I'll be right out. Many, many minutes later. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't think this person was going to show up I, uh, so quick. I thought I was going to be done with this track by track, but lo and behold, right at my door right when I was getting toward the end. And uh, I left off with uh, Pitolemi versus uh, Nightwing, and I'm giving that one to Black Sabbath because Tony Martin, man, and Pitolemi is very epic. It's a cool track, but I'm giving that one to Black Sabbath. Now, I don't remember if I scored it or not. I, I don't think I did, so if I did, then I messed up, and then you all, you know, that think you're so smart that love to correct me because your life sucks and it makes you feel better then leave it down there that I got the track list, uh, the, the amount of tracks wrong alright so then the last track is Black Hearted Woman on Blue Murder now this one doesn't have it but it's the bonus track called Cloak and Dagger which is good but I understand why it was not added on the album and as a bonus track uh, Black Hearted Woman smokes and I'm giving it to that one alright so oh all right, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. I don't care, but I'm sure many of you do. But it's a tie, what I see there. Five, five. They, right? Or maybe not. Oh, who cares? Whatever. You all do the math. You all love it. But whatever. I like this one more. Maybe it lost, maybe it won, maybe it got tied. I don't know, but what I do know is Christopher rules. And I want to thank you, my friend, for the donation. And, uh... Hey, if you'd like to donate, i got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't, especially if you're a smarty pants that knows math. All right, my friends, stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gob. Oh, it's headless. <laughs>